Greetings, everyone. A warm welcome to this extraordinary panel discussion. And thank you for joining us as we celebrate a significant milestone, BSU 20th anniversary. I'm Osama Zarnawi, your guide through this captivating journey. And today we have an accelerating conversation lined up and veiling a game-changing partnership, BSO Applicata Technologies. The next hour is dedicated to unrevealing the complexities of data storage, a topic vital to future success of businesses. Joining me are two distinguished experts, the brilliant minds shaping this partnership, Rorak Hilleman, a strategic advisor for cloud storage from Applicata Technologies, Vladimir Dombrowski, a cloud service engineer from BSO. Before we dive into the questions, can you please give us a short introduction about you two? Sure. Hey, yes, sorry, I'm Rourke. Go ahead. Oh, Rourke. go ahead, Doug. Okay, so I'm Rourke Hilleman. I am a uh, Applicatus uh, uh, strategic um, advisor. Um, my background, I've been in storage for a long time, starting at Apple Computers. And my very first lawsuit with Sony uh, technology went back when Sony was still making hard drives as their drives were causing failures with Apple computers back over 20 years ago. Uh, from there, I moved on to eBay, PayPal, uh, doing operations, and then was acquired by SanDisk and working with SanDisk doing flash and hard drive when Western Digital acquired us, creating platforms and doing business development. And for the last 10 years, I've been an uh, advisor for Applicata. Vlad? Sure. Hey, everyone. My name is Vladimir. Uh, I've been a storage engineer for 11 years now. Uh, actually, I've started my career with storage. I guess it's something that caught up to me. Um, I've been doing object storage for 11 years, too, because I actually started in object storage. Uh, however, uh, since I've tried doing other forms of storage, file storage, block storage. Uh, however, still object storage, my favorite. Perfect, thank you. Like Rorak, Vladimir, like every every partnership has a, has a story behind it. Could you share how this collaboration came to be uh, and what factors led to this formation of this strategic alliance? Sure thing. Well, we've been running our object storage service here at BSO called BSOST since 2018. We quickly understood that object storage is not really a mass market anymore uh, as it once was that was used to basically store mostly cold data and that customers are looking for new innovative ways to transform their data without introducing new applications or, new co or additional complexity uh, to their application stack. Um, so if we had to do something, we figured we might as well do it on the storage layer directly to save up on resources. And that's where we met Applicata Technologies. It was around 2020 or four years ago. Uh, they were designing a solution that addresses the same exact needs I'm speaking about. And uh, we quickly understood by hanging around together that our interests were actually common. And so we decided to team up together. And after three years of hard work, we we're proud to show uh, you what we've achieved with this. Yes, and um, as I've been following Applicata as their technical advisor for the last 10 years, uh, Applicata in the last couple of years have uh, been engaged with a very popular uh, online uh, photo retailer um, that they had a problem where their uh, systems uh, were taking a long time to compress photos being uploaded by, by customers and consumers. Um, and so they worked with Applicata to develop this online uh, solution that can reduce the amount of compute and uh, accelerate the performance of the compression. Osoma, can you put up the chart um, that we shared? Yeah. This online uh, photo retailer was uh, building out this compression engine to try to reduce and to try to uh, reduce the storage space and the time it took for people to upload photos and uh, store it in their cloud. And unfortunately, uh, using standard compute, it took a long time and it required lots and lots of resources. 
And so with Applicata's uh, FPGA solution and scaled out software, they were able to take the solution, reduce the time so the customer, when they upload the photo, it was just a transmission time and the average savings being used uh, by the FPJ was over 60% uh, compressibility. And that's a number from this photo online retailer, uh, not something that Applicata uh, generated. So after uh, several years of operation, that was the average compressibility. And the value to the customer is that the image was actually stored with less time and other capabilities that was added to, val to increase the value was in the storing of the photos, they, we could identify if the photo was corrupted. And so with these capabilities, it allowed this popular online photo retailer to show significant value compared to their competitors. And so this is the basis of the technology that is moving over to BSO, but it's beyond this. So before we, we, we kick things off, uh, Applicata Technologies is well known for its image compression and storage solution. Can you, can you Rorak, uh, paint us a picture of Applicata Technology and its role of today dynamic technology market? And more importantly, how do these solutions uh, optimize business performance? Yes, so when Applicata first started, their FPGAs was uh, being looked at to help object storage, but the value that was initially uh, explored actually ended up in photo compression. And so in the last couple of years, uh, photo compression was uh, one of the features that we put in and it allowed us to uh, increase the ability to compress photos, find corruption in data, but at the same time, we realized because the FPGA is barely even uh, working hard, we could do a lot more than that. And so taking the FPGA beyond photo compression, we're looking at other value stacks we can give to the customer and partnering with BSO, the value stack could expand by giving BSO large flexibility in their deployment because the FPGA does not require a very strong compute platform. It provides offload capabilities and SDK to do compression. And for e-commerce with picture services, when you come in and you uh, upload your product uh, picture, multiple thumbnails can be generated simultaneously. So things are done in parallel, giving you a much agile, much faster capability. And the FPGA allows these capabilities plus more things like encryption and um, you know things like fraud detection for product fraud or even transaction processing fraud yeah correct uh well um we figured that applicata almost came in in clutch in a time where uh, not only there are more use cases that require these kinds of specialized algorithms, uh, but there are also um, new use cases which uh, center on big data, HPC, and AI-driven solutions uh, that require to work on a high amount of data at once, right? So we figured that not only by leveraging data compression algorithms provided by Applicata cards and data compression features too uh, could save customers on storage costs, but it could also uh, offer up new features and new possibilities uh, for specialized use cases that work on the on the data that is stored on the storage layer, uh, but that uh, enrich those big data and AI. Uh, use cases by, for example, pre-processing or converting image sets. And, and one of the major values that uh, we've looked at is, is if you look at taking your data and putting it in the cloud, you get uh, impacted in cost by just your uh, network ingest and egress cost. And if you store it in, let's say, Amazon S3, you're paying to put the data there. Then you're paying to pull it out to do other things like you know uh, fraud detection or 
changing the picture, scaling them, doing different types of operations. And then you have to write it back into the object store. With this solution with BSO, those fees disappear as all you're doing is calling a storage layer API that then the, performs the work in the storage layer. That doesn't prevent you from pulling data out and analyzing it in a compute layer that BSO also provides, but it allows you to more effectively you work, change your workflow without moving the data and adding time and effort. Uh, Vladimir, over to you. Rorak mentioned BSO approach to cloud storage. Like, could you elaborate on that and shed light on BSO solution to companies I uh, like I in cloud storage? Why do you think the, uh, this is this is not just a trend but a necessity? All right. Well, um, I think that object storage is today is not about storing the data, but also to provide meaningful ways to enrich it and uh, provide more protection to to this data. And we as BSO are here at the standpoint, at the crucial standpoint, where we already have this um, established worldwide uh, infrastructure that allows us to connect to every single part of the world and connect us to our customers. Uh, but we can now to be able to um, uh, use our existing storage knowledge uh, based on our storage technology and combine it with the Applicata cards in order to change the business for our customers. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, if if Aurora want to add something. Sure. sure. Again, the... the future with these FPGAs uh, is relatively open. Uh, the FPGA allows you to run without having a, a very heavy compute resource. So when you're using an object store and you're using erasure encoding, you know, the flexibility we give BSO is the ability to size their system for their needs, but being able to use the FPGA to help with the erasure encoding, to help with the compressibility to help with the encryption. And in the future, we're looking at things that we're currently developing like uh, transcoding uh, pictures, transcoding video, transcribing audio into multiple languages, and a lot of different things that an FPGA can perform. And you don't need a full-blown GPU. And GPUs are extremely high wattage, high performance and it's constantly changing. If you're trying to put a GPU in, you're gonna to need to change the GPU out every year as the performance literally is in an acceleration. With an FPGA, the performance is there. It can do all this work without having to change often. And it's in the storage layer. And the storage layer can now perform things that most people had to pull out of the storage layer to be able to use. Exactly, but you yeah. add to that? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, our actually our existing solution, uh, storage solution, has recently had a complete redesign with a V2 that has come up just recently, two weeks ago. And um, this gave us the opportunity uh, to rethink completely our design in regards to hardware. Uh, so we, should I say, sacrificed the, the storage density that didn't matter uh to us uh anymore or not as much as before uh and we put uh forward the speed and scalability of of our design and this lesser density is what allows us to to uh, uh open new opportunities uh, for example for installing uh, applicate as fpgo cards into our now smaller machines and uh we can now focus on specifically tuning in our systems, for example, for low power consumption, as Rorik said, uh, by offloading some of the load of the, of the process or of the GPUs uh, to the sp specialized FPGA cards. Um, and we, and those new uh, features will also be faster than the traditional li libraries. We know that for sure. Yes, indeed, the challenges in data and object storage are manifold. 
Vladimir and Rorak, how is this partnership addressing these challenges from cost management and data security and everything in between? Well, uh, I'll start by saying that uh, in terms of protecting and preserving data, uh, of course, customers are today looking for solutions that are able to uh, protect the data from both external and internal threats. Uh, I'm talking here about data corruption or uh, ransomware, for example. So of course they're needing this uh, this solid uh, subset of this S3 features that are focused on encryption, on lifecycle, on uh, ransomware protection, on versioning. Um, I think this has, is already established in the market. Um, so it's also about, uh, but it's it's not about only uh, th those challenges. It's also about uh, thinking uh, of the costs it costs you to store the data, um, and uh, this is crucial for customers. I think. Uh, to, to, to be able to, to save up on this cost in any shape, way or form uh, imaginable. And Rourke already talked about it. Uh, when you don't need to download an object, a huge object, uh, when you can process it on site, this is crucial for the customers because this is what enables them to, to scale and to, to scale efficiently. Rourke, do you have anything to add here? Yeah, so when you look at secure, data security, the more times you have to pull the data down or move it from you know site a to site b every time you do that there's always a chance of a man in the middle or some type of intrusion that could occur when you're just calling an api to do a function within the object store there's no movement there is no potential access and since object stores are immutable you could you can't modify them then your data is secure as long as you don't have to keep you know moving it, then no one's accessing it, no one's doing anything that can uh, potentially impact it. That being said, the FPGA allows you not only to do that in the cloud, but if you needed to do similar capabilities locally, you know, you're, you're gonna have to have scale locally, which some sites don't have, especially when you're looking at edge compute. With an FPGA, with BSOs on-site capabilities, you can now do that with similar capabilities without having to scale out. Uh, so the FPGAs can support scale out. Applicata's software does scale out capabilities, but at the same time, because of its capabilities, you don't have to scale out immediately. You can actually do things at a performance level at the edge or even at the core site and in the cloud without having to go too wide. And that's the problem with hyperscale technology today. For you to take full advantage of it, you have to be in the cloud. You have to go into scale out mode. And that's the same with cost and everything else. But when you look at FPGA, it reduces power. You don't have to have extremely expensive CPUs to do the same thing. In fact, it would require multiple systems to be able to do what one FPGA can do within one system. And that was proven by this popular online photo retailer. And we can do that with not just compression, but with other functions that we're putting in place. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we, we can feel the, the, the synergy between Applicata storage technologies and BSO cloud service. And it's fascinating. How, how does this partnership create a robust value proposition for, for uh, customers? And uh, can you share a specific example of industries where this collaboration has proven uh, particularly successful? Roar, can you want to start? So first off, you know, Applicata Scale-Out software has been very popular in the online photo retailing space. We're working with BSO today and we're looking at use cases and interests that our new uh, format could potentially provide. And those areas that we're looking at that are normally not in the realm of an object store are things like you know, fraud detection, you know, e-commerce, transaction processing. Those are all heavy on encryption, heavy on photo, photo compression, picture services. 
with an FPGA, you don't need a lot of systems to do this. You can effectively do it with an API call that will automatically compress the photo, rescale it to multiple thumbnail sizes for your catalogs and other needs on your websites. And you could also look for fraudulent products. Uh, one of the issues in uh, China is how many you know fraudulent products are there? And so being able to do that, and, and then the performance FPGA provides for you allows you to do transaction processing and having a very fast object store that can do fr uh, fraud detection without having to have in-memory based uh, you know, object store to be able to do this. And a lot of times the systems that do these types of fraud detection in transaction processing is extremely expensive. Um, I, I know because my background at uh, eBay and PayPal uh, helped me identify how this is done. And so we're working with BSO and with Apicata to show them how to potentially do this in the future. And so those are the many different uh, capabilities, but the FPGA, and I wanna reiterate this point, the FPGA is literally a compute system on steroids. It reduces the time to process. It, it allows you to multi-process within the FPGA. And so the value that our customers get is the time to process. They get a lot of time back. It's the uh, ability to do more and to be able to do it in storage. And then the value Applicata provides to BSO, we do this with less power. We do this with potentially less cost, depending on the compute structure it's replacing. And it gives them the flexibility to be able to do this with their own versions of the systems that they can scale without having to scale wide. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, as you said, it's I think it's no surprise for anyone. Image storage is the hot use case of today. Uh, we've uh, been uh, doing some statistics actually on the data we're already storing. And guess what? The average object size is between one and four megabytes. Guess what else is between one and four megabytes? That's images. Yeah, this is a very hot use case. And we see a lot of customers struggling with, okay, I upload the original image for my e-commerce website, for example, then I download it, then I upload uh, 16 different thumbnails, uh, just the image, but transform maybe a lower quality for mobile, uh, higher quality, uh, maybe some uh, effects applied to it, maybe compression, maybe something else. Uh, and we see that uh, actually this data there is a lot of interaction with it. Uh, and uh, it would be awesome if it could happen basically more quickly and directly on the storage layer. Why pulling this data out when it's just here? It's it's close to, to where you can process it. Yeah. yeah. And I'd love to add with BSO's high performance networking, it's situated perfectly for the fact that most people's networks are now going to a gigabit and faster. Uh, 5G is now out in force and moving on to the next uh, iteration, which causes uh, cell phones and other photo devices to increase from you know 20 megapixels and much higher nowadays. Uh, plus with AI, they're not just taking one picture, they're taking multiple pictures. Uh, and so being able to look at this, you know, when you look at video and photos, the amount of storage required is just going to go up. And so with FPGAs, it puts BSO in the forefront to be able to handle this new size as they come in for the next decade. Um, and it's something that compute resources would still have to double, triple to be able to catch up. Yeah, correct. I completely agree. Uh, I mean, instead of we could brute force it just by uh, increasing the size of our network or uh, I don't know, scaling up compute resources, but why trying to brute force when we can do it in an intelligent way? And uh, this is the proper, most efficient way to do it really. I, I will go back to you, Rorak, and, and uh, let's delve into the impact on customer's operation. How do Applicata's real-time storage technologies specifically cater to needs of companies aiming to optimize their operational performance? 
So there's multiple aspects to this. Uh, the, the first aspect is as the FPGAs allow us to compress data fast, there's a less wait time for the customer. You know, as they upload, it's almost real time compression versus if you use a software and a CPU, they're gonna be waiting there for minutes, if not longer, depending on how much uh, photos they're uploading. When you look at DSO on-prem and cloud offering in a hybrid mode, FPGAs locally can reduce the amount of uh, WAN performance because you're compressing locally and then sending it up into the cloud. So even though there's a super fast uh, network, transmitting less is still better. And so with the FPGAs being able to do that, you've, you've looked at you know, the ability to reduce the amount of traffic, you've reduced the amount of compute resources used. And so it's time given back to the customer. And from that time giving back to the customers, more things can happen. And since you don't have to pull it out of storage, if you're going to make multiple thumbnails instead of having a workflow where you do everything before you upload it, you upload it once and everything gets done. That's one aspect of it. But then there's others where if you need to transcode you know, from JPEG to another format, you could do it in the storage, save the object, and then just pull the object down or transcode on the fly and it'll come back real time. And so there's a lot of agility the customer gets by the FPGA being able to do all this and with Applicata extending the API to BSO so that the customers can have direct control over the data in the storage layer and not have to pull it out to do the work. And again, the security aspect of not having to uh, move the data ensures higher security for that data. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, there are multiple aspects. For one, S3, although a perfect technology that scales uh, very much with the needs of the customers, uh, it has its drawbacks. And one of the drawbacks is uh, that it's not that easy to use, right? It's not very user-friendly, you need an SDK, you need to uh, pull up some lines of codes if you don't have an already existing application on the market. And uh, if you wanna do something specific, then just even downloading or uploading objects can seem very hard. Uh, let's not talk about the processing part, right? So you've only pulled the data, now you need to make sure that uh, the data gets somehow transformed. So. Definitely, there, there, there was a need here to, to, to simplify, right? To simplify for our customers, to make it so that it's clear uh, the, the, the solution, the product is very clear about how to do certain things. Certain things that previously were called specific niche needs, but today is just day-to-day, -day, right? It's uh, data compression is day-to-day. -day. Every time you go, you open up a browser, uh, there is a big chance that your data is compressed in some way, shape or form. That's uh, for everything, for text, for videos, for images. Uh, so yeah, those everyday needs need, like, need simpler solutions than what we have currently on the market. Yeah, so Rorak mentioned agility. So it, we all know that is critical, especially in the ever evolving business landscape. Like, how does the partnership, this partnership, meet companies' go-to-market needs? Uh, and how will Applicata Technologies and BSO Solution involve with, with, with the customers as they scale? Well, so let me, let me oh, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Well, let, let me start in saying that one of the things that, you know, BSO and Applicata needs to do uh, to help uh, our customers become more agile is to actually find the more popular use case. I mean, we've looked at photos and, and we're, we're already familiar with that. But as we look at transaction processing, as we look at uh, you know, surveillance being stored up in the cloud, you know, things like transcribing audio and all these different things, we need to look at the workflow. And from the, the workflow of how the customer use the object store and the data, that's when we put in APIs to optimize the workflow so that you're not writing your uh, surveillance videos directly into the object store. And then you have to pull it out to transcribe the video, or you have to put this explicitly at the very end when you're storing the data. If our 
uh, transcription capability is in real time and we can convert multiple languages to English so that you can see it as, you know, as the data is being stored into our object store, then there's a lot of optimization you can do in your uh, surveillance system. And so that's an example. But when you look at social influencers, if you look at, you know, video editors and, and, and the workflow they do, those are things that we would need to start talking to the customers, looking at their workflow, and then finding out what's the best thing to do to optimize those capabilities. You know, do we reduce the data so that it transfer faster? Because faster transfer, when you're talking about gigabytes of video uh, images, that translate into time saved. Time saved means faster turnaround for them to edit the, the video. And so those are the things that we have to look at, you know, lossless compression, all these things that FPGA could do faster than a, a general compute system. And so we need to look at the common use cases that our customers, and, and you know, please reach out to us if you have a use case that you would love to optimize, and we would be able to work with you and identify how do we optimize this? What type of SDKs do we need to put in place so that you just write to the object store, call the SDK, and your workflow has been flattened? And that's the goal. You know, right now we have photo. It's very popular. We know how it works. As we move forward to other use cases, we need to work with our partners. Yes. And uh, on the storage side, too, on the on the side of uh, of uh, where where you are located, um, basically one of the goals here at BSO is to is to bring customers closer to the markets, right? Because even though you have those wonderful SDKs and use cases, uh, if your POC is available only in London, for example, but you need it in Chicago, uh, then uh, you you need to, to be able to somehow transport it from London to Chicago. And what we've noticed is that the, 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 the go-to-market time between just uh, having an available location and having other locations, because we're also running on-prem storage, uh, not only cloud storage, but on-prem storage at our customer's location, uh, there is a big difference in time that need, that uh, for, for setting up so such uh, such infrastructures, right? But however, with by combining the fact that now we can take, we're able to take uh, applicate as FPGA cards, which are very lightweight, right? And just ship them to the locations where we already present, but we don't have the use case deployed and just retrofit other existing storage pods with this applicator cards we're actually able to reduce drastically the time to market and time to production costs for our customers. We can be ready very soon and way sooner that we, than we could before. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to go back to you, Rorak. Like, uh, you know, concrete examples are always uh, bringing a discussion to life. Like, are, are there any specific industries or sectors where your solution have been uh, seen remarkable success? Well, as I said, uh, you know, Applicata's uh, major foray has been an online photo. Um, that was a very successful effort. Uh, we're trying to branch out into other areas. Uh, so we are exploring, but photo is a significantly large market. Uh, you know, most of the data being stored today are photos and videos. And so it's not a stretch for us to go into video. Uh, it's not a stretch for us to, uh, you know, to do uh, automatic uh, transcoding, automatic transcribing. Uh, and so those are already uh, features in development. And we're also looking at e-commerce. E-commerce is huge, a multi-trillion dollar market. Um, you know, Amazon is uh, one of the huge players. Alibaba is, uh, is also a huge player. Uh, in the e-commerce, but then commerce in general, as you start looking at on-prem, if we can take the FPGA and allow it to reduce the uh, the time and increase the value of being able to do this for the commerce market and for the e-commerce market, you know, for a lot of times, you know, even groceries today, they're having pictures of what they sell and you could buy it online, you could have it delivered, or if you're in the store, it's there. Having 
the ability to take new products, put it in your catalog fast, being able to have it locally everywhere and, and being able to do it fast, doing fraud detection, doing corruption detection. If, if a photo is uh, you know corrupt, knowing about it so that you're not coming up with something uh, that doesn't look good. And a lot of other capabilities for commerce, scale, multi-scaling simultaneously, uh, you know, and then taking that into the next market, which is transaction processing, you know, fraud detection lookup tables, uh, you know, paired with a fraud detection algorithm. Those are things that, uh, you know, storage can do in situ without having to go out and uh, create new infrastructure. So you store a transaction, the transaction looks at it, it, it triggers a fraud detection, you get warned that the transaction that you just stored is potentially a fraud, you know, you go forward to explore it more or you block the transaction immediately. That's one aspect of it. Or, or if a picture is put in place, it looks as if it's a clone of another thing and it's being said it's something else. That's also something that's very big in the market. You know, you don't want, you know, clones of uh, name brand products and being able to identify that is very important. And so those are things that uh, our solution can be done on-prem or in the cloud. And usually on-prem would give you the fastest turnaround, but with cloud and, and BSO's fast network, you know, it's getting to the point where you could also do it in the cloud and it doesn't add significant latency. Yeah, thank you. So before we wrap up this, uh, it's your time to shine. Our Q&A is open. Uh, feel free to share uh, with us your thoughts and questions. We uh, are conscious of the time, but don't worry if you cannot get them all. Uh, reach out uh, afterward now. So uh, I will check if we if we have any 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 questions with the. Okay, so there there is this question saying like, uh, how did the collaboration between BSO and Applicata Technology emerge and what factors led to this strategic partnership? Well, I can ask, uh, I think I can provide an answer to this one. Um, like I said, uh, we've been doing storage uh, for several years and uh, by looking into ways to, to find uh, new innovative ways to, to, to make data smart. Basically, that's what we're looking for because traditional storage is not, uh, doesn't cut it anymore, basically. Uh, we've been talking with the, uh, talking around here and uh, I think, yeah, with the, with Applicata, it, uh, it kind of stuck. We did a first POC, right, together and uh, everything went well and, uh, and uh, he kind of went from here. Yeah, let, let me add that uh, with the executives talking, um, it looked as if the alignment of the vision for where BSO wanted to take Object Store and what Avocado was doing with its capabilities, including Object Store, uh, aligned. And with that, uh, I believe it, it ended up with a proof of concept. Proof of concept was successful. And now we're talking, you know, what else can we do and bring in use cases? Uh, the first one would be the photo aspect of it. But as I, as we've alluded to, there's a lot of potential use cases um, and, you know, it drives huge markets. Perfect. So th th there is another question saying, uh, are there any specific sectors or market that stand to benefit the most from this uh, collaboration? So one of the largest markets with the current product is, uh, you know, the online photo retailing, but because of BSO's capabilities, I think when you start looking at social influencers, when you look at, uh, you know, just the whole media creation capabilities, the capabilities that we can reach into is already, you know, probably in the exabyte scale. Uh, and, you know, just taking a fraction of that and, and giving value to the customer is huge. Uh, when you look at other areas that's ancillary to that, 
you know, cities with the smart city uh, aspect. You've got, you know, the multimedia aspect of it, advertising. Uh, all There's a lot of areas that um, right now, a lot of the big companies like Amazon and Google are providing services to, but all they're providing is storage. And the problem is when you store something there, they can actually analyze what you're storing and, and then make their own metrics uh, on it and do their own uh, capabilities. With BSO and with Avocada, when you store it, we store it effectively, we store it securely, and then you decide what you want to do with the data. I, I, I Unless uh, otherwise uh, stated, I don't believe BSO does any analysis on any data that's stored up by the customer. No, absolutely not. Uh... Yes, uh, this is our commitment to our customers is that we do not store the data and we do not share the, sh share the data, of course. Um, we are trying to uphold the highest standards when it comes to security possible. Uh, and uh, we are encouraging our customers and advising our customers all the time to uh, be the more secure, most secure with the data possible. Uh, uh, right. uh, there's another question. How do you foresee the collaboration evolving over the next next few years? I think I think we'll see the emergence uh, of uh, more and more use cases uh, where Applicata can uh, really shine uh, with their FPGA cards. And uh, for now, I, our storage is only forecasted to grow. So I hope uh, that, uh, and I, th I really think I'm convinced by it, that uh, these use cases will become one of the biggest parts of, of the storage. And this will in turn uh, explode in terms of uh, uh, not only the amount of uh, compute required uh, that this uh, the Plaqueta cards can provide and along with BSO storage, but also the uh, the, the different the, yeah, in the number of use cases too, right? To today, like we, we've seen some use cases, but I'm, I'm, I really think that long term there are even use cases that we don't even uh, for now we don't even imagine, right? Um, and that can be done too by specialized hardware. What do you think, Rourke? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'll make a, one statement that I think. Um, you know, describes this uh, journey that both BSO and Applicata is in. Um, we've looked at object storage. Object storage today is a foundational technology that allows people to do things. The problem is that the things that they do with it are still what I call in the cottage industry. You're handcrafting things, you're pulling things and doing things in a very handcrafted and very, you know, very inefficient way. Uh, with BSO and Applicata, we're trying to industrialize the model of object store so that object stores can become part of your process flow and you don't have to go outside of the object store to be able to do things. So industrializing it for photo, industrializing it for commerce, industrializing it for things that are still you know, handcrafted by individual companies doing things their own different ways. If we can, if we are successful, then BSO will be giving the foundational services for anyone to be able to create any one of these capabilities by just using the storage, using the compute in situ with FPGA and other capabilities as we move forward and bring use cases in. Perfect. Thank, thank, thank you so much, Rorak. And thank you, Vladimir, and everyone tuning in. Uh, your insights have been like a rocket fuel for innovation. I hope this panel discussion has left you buzzing with excitement and newfound uh, wisdom. Uh, until our next rendezvous, take care, stay ahead, uh, and keep those creative uh, gears turning. Thank you so much, and see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank you. Take care.